Thanks for staying with us, taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. Lots of sunshine. We've seen it all day today and saw it all day Monday and all day Tuesday. And it looks like lots of sunshine as we head through your Thursday and Friday as well. Current temperature 78 degrees. It feels just a touch warmer. 79 winds light out of the east at around 9 miles per hour. Elsewhere across the region, 70 in Langdon, 73 in Devils Lake, 79 in Gwinner, Jamestown, down in Sisseton, and also 79 in the Wapaton Breckenridge area. The cool spot over in Bemidji coming in with a current temperature of 69 degrees. Winds again, they've been light today, but tomorrow they'll start to pick up out of the south and we're going to see some gusty south winds not only tomorrow, but right on through the day Friday and into the day Saturday. It will start to bring in a little bit more heat and some more moisture. Most of us seeing some partly to mostly sunny skies, but off towards the west, you've got those brighter white clouds and underneath those just a few showers and thunderstorms. They continue to slowly drift off towards the south and southeast. These have been persistent all day today in parts of the region, and they finally made their way into parts of our northwestern counties. And again, these should fall apart, but they should have fallen apart several hours ago. So we'll continue to watch these. They should remain rather weak as they clip our far western counties. Across the northern plains, that's the only game in town. Outside of that, some partly to mostly sunny skies, some nice conditions across most of the northern parts of the country. Not so nice as you head on towards the south. Showers and thunderstorms, some of those severe in parts of Oklahoma, some significant flash flooding ongoing in parts of Oklahoma City at this hour. And in Florida, they are keeping an eye on what is now Tropical Storm Hermine out in the Gulf. This not associated with the uh, tropical storm, but a tremendous amount of rain. Football game that was supposed to be played in Tampa tomorrow night moved to tonight because of the potential tropical storm conditions, but it's going to be a very soggy one as we head through the overnight hours tonight. As we head through the rest of the evening here in the uh, Fargo-Moorhead area, the Red River Valley, we will see those storms finally start to dissipate. Some leftover clouds drifting across the area as we head overnight and into tomorrow morning. And then as we head into tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see another nice day. Partly to mostly sunny skies with temperatures warming on up into the 80s in many locations with a few 70s off toward the north. And again, those winds will start to pick up out of the south and southeast. Could see some gusts over 25 miles per hour at times, so maybe a little extra hairspray as you head out the door on your Thursday. Here in Fargo, we'll start off the day on the cool side again. Not quite as cool as the past couple of mornings, but in the mid-50s as we head towards your lunchtime. We're going to warm it on up into the mid-70s, and later on in the day, a bit of a breeze out there and temperatures getting on up into the lower 80s. Picture of the day, a gorgeous shot here. And if you look closely, you can see that double rainbow there. Thanks to Erica for sending that in. This taken in wheat, and we're gonna use that as the background of our seven day forecast. The next couple of days, just like we've seen the past few days, some 80s, but increasingly windy over the next few days. And then, yeah, we've got storm chances over the weekend. Could see some strong to severe storms on Saturday. Could see some strong storms again Sunday and even on into Monday with lingering storm chances and much cooler weather as we head on into next week. That's a look at your weather. Let's head on over to the river to Moorhead where Hutch Johnson is standing by with the Cashwise Backyard Barbecue. Thanks so much, Robert. It's a beautiful evening to wrap up our Cashwise Backyard Barbecue season. And there's one more weekend of summer left. And I know you guys have at least one more big uh, announcement to make with what's on the shelves at Cashwise to keep us stocked up. Oh, there's plenty out there for you, as always. Um, just to name a couple, we got 12 ounce uh, New York strip steaks are, are just $6, and you can come in for our uh, signature brats, are 10 for nine bucks, 90 cents for a brat. You can't beat that. Um, also, I really just want to thank mainly uh, all of our guests for signing up this year. Uh, it's been a great season. Um, Hutch, thank you. Absolutely, you Tony. Live team, you guys are great. All right. Uh, it's been phenomenal. So thank you very much. And Danny over there. Okay, I'm pulling the mic. No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to make sure we have time to announce who won the Weber Grill at 5 o'clock, if you missed it. From Fargo, we have Heidi Funk. Heidi Funk, cash-wise, they'll be in touch. A brand-new Weber Grill is heading your way. For now, Andrea, that's what's going on. i got to go test one of these steaks because I, I guess this is a wrap. All right, thanks, Hutch. Speaking of food... Who doesn't like free food? Hear what Chipotle is serving up during the month of September. Up next.